Hey guys, I previously shared a video on how I have my notes organized inside Bear and why I use this as my favorite note taking application. In that video, I mentioned that I use one Alfred workflow to be able to capture notes on the go whenever I am doing whatever on my computer. I can just pull out Alfred, type something real quick and continue working without any distractions. I still suggest that you go ahead and check out that video because it will give you some ideas of my organization and all that and some of the features inside Bear. But today I want to share with you how I created this workflow inside Alfred. Actually, since I created that video, I have updated my system to the latest version, which allows you to use shortcuts inside your Mac. So in the last few days, I went through the process of kind of translating or redoing this workflow to be able to work with Mac shortcuts. So you do not need Alfred anymore. You can trigger this shortcut with Keyboard Maestro or with Better Touch Tools or with Shortery or anything that allows you to trigger shortcuts with a hotkey on your computer. The truth is that I don't really know a lot of coding and um, all of this, even what I will be explaining to you today is from a very beginner's perspective. So I ask from you to have a little bit of patience. So this is the main screen of my computer. Let me show you Bear. I have this note that I call inbox. And for now it's totally empty, but I can be working on something else and I can call Alfred and I say, you know what, capture, this is some text. And I can continue working on anything. I can be browsing the internet. I can be uh, designing anything. And later I can go back into Bear and there is a text that I captured. Not only that, I can also, if I want, um, make it pop up. I want this note to pop up. There we go. So it's exactly the same note. Now we have this new text that I added and it came up as a pop-up. So I can review previous notes or I can continue typing on this note. How about I want to type some text and I want it to go inside a new note. I can also do that. This should go inside a new note. I press Alt or Option and totally in the background, this text again was captured inside a new note. There we go. And the note already has this inbox um, hashtag. And I can also do this exactly with a pop-up. This is another <laughs> new note in a pop-up. And then I press Option, Shift, and there we go. This is a different new note. Let's see everything that we have created until now. So is, this is the first one. This is the one that came up in a pop-up. And this is the one that was captured inside my inbox note. Today we will be going step by step and building all of these shortcuts. Let's open the shortcuts application. Right now I have all of these shortcuts that I have modified for different needs, but all of them started from the main one, which is capturing notes in the background. So let's call this folder there for now. Let's just start a new shortcut and let's call it bare background capture. We want to add some text from input, uh, get text from input. Here we will select shortcut input and we want to clear all of this. If there's no input, we want to ask for text. That way, if we are triggering the shortcut outside of Alfred, we will still get this question and this text box that we can type anything and it will go inside or not. I will mention more about that in a little bit. After we get the text from the input, we will add another kind of a text box in here. Let's see, just here, the one that says text by itself. Now this will be our template whenever our text that we capture will go inside the note that we define. How do we want it to appear? And I have the, I like to actually insert the date just to keep track of 
whenever I capture some text and inside here we will select the text that we just captured and let's just make a, like this line after this we will URL encode always make sure that you are selecting the correct variable right click select variable we want this URL encode text and after this we want to do some replacement of text what we want to replace is this uh, kind of code with this other one and what this will allow us to do is that whenever we are capturing our note this is some capture text we can also uh, create a line break so this should go in another line see they are in separate lines after we replace this now we will set a variable and we will call this the content again always make sure that you are selecting the correct thing here because oftentimes it doesn't work and it was all because of this now let's just add another text box here we have text what we want here is the id of our note so if you have a note that you call inbox or anything else that you want to continue adding more text let's click here copy notes identifier and again we will url encode and okay this is url encoding the text and we will set variable we will call this one the id so let's add another text box and for this i actually suggest that you go to the bear website i will be giving you a link to the article but the way that we're triggering the creation of the node is with something called x callback url scheme here we have many more options than the ones that are presented to us inside the shortcut application itself uh, let's add text this one for now we will just select this let's go back inside our shortcut we put this text here text will be the content and id will be the id and mode prepend and we want open note equals no we will add this url to a variable to the url that's a variable and after all of this we will actually open the url i have tried to open the url directly without adding it to the variable and i have no idea why but it didn't work so you have to do this step don't skip it after this i like to just have one notification and this is not required of course but it gives me a little bit of a peace of mind that my text was actually captured and i don't want it to play any sound let's delete this text and i actually want to see the text that i captured so select variable and we go to the first text okay let's give it a try this is a test the first time that you trigger the shortcut the application will ask you if you want to give permission because of privacy reasons and you will click allow and we have the notification let's open bear there we go you already made the main shortcut how about if we want this note to pop up like i was telling you before let's just duplicate it let's just call it bear pop-up capture the only thing that we need to change here is new 
window equals yes. And let's give it a try. This should pop up. So again, we have the pop up one and we have the simple one. Again, in background capture. I am actually triggering the opening of bear with my uh, shortcut that I have here. Um, opening the bear main window. How about we want to create a new note in the background? Like I was telling you, now we have to duplicate the main one that we did. Let's put this one at the end. And let's say bear background capture new. In this case, I don't usually um, add any date because Bear already adds a date in the creation of the node. But what I do add is a tag here for organization. So let's call this inbox. It says here, okay, we do not need the ID because it will be a new node. What we do need is a title for the new node. So let's just call it new node. Uh, from shortcut. It can be anything, really. And then the title here, instead of the ID. Okay, now we have to change the URL a little bit because we're not adding text, we're actually creating a new node. So let's just go back to our bare website. And here we will select create. And I only want this thing here, the first part of the text. Let's just uh, replace it here. Title will be the title. Now we put the and symbol. Make sure that you add this because if not, it will not work correctly. So title, the title text. Okay, we got this. We need to remove the ID and also we do not need mode prepend. Let's just give this a try. This is a new note. Okay, there we go. Exactly in the same format as we decided here. And again, if we want to make also a shortcut, I, I suggest that you do another shortcut always for a pop-up. So you can always have control um, whenever you want the, the note to appear in front of you or not. We will call this pop-up. And the only thing we need to change is new window equals yes. Pop-up new note. Okay, perfect. Now we got already those four shortcuts that we can further customize to fit whatever needs you have. You can use this to create templates for nodes. You can use the shortcuts application to get information from other apps. You can even mix them up a little bit with Apple script. Let's just talk a little bit about how to trigger these shortcuts with Alfred or with another application. If you have better touch tools, which is another amazing application that I love, and I actually plan to release another video on that, but you can actually, let me see here. You can create some triggering so that when you move your mouse to the right corner, this uh, new note uh, will be created. Actually, I am, I made a shortcut. Let me show you my shortcuts here. I made a shortcut that it, it creates a new note that is totally empty. It doesn't even ask for the input anymore. It just one empty note. And with that, I can imitate the behavior of the quick note that is already integrated inside the notes application by Apple. So I can just move my mouse to the right corner and a new note is created just like that. If you have another application, like I was telling you, it doesn't have to be Alfred, but the moment that you trigger a shortcut, it will look like this. And again, you can capture some text in the background. I love to use 
Alfred specifically to create this uh, workflow to trigger my shortcut because it gives me so many options inside the application. And I actually just love this little bar, the simple view, uh, very minimalist. Let's just open Alfred and make sure that you are in the workflows area. Let's just come down here and create a blank workflow. Let's just call this bear capture. You can add more information, but for now this will work. And we want input keyword. And you can use any keyword here. Uh, let's just call it bear capture. And let's say capture note in background. If you want to be a little bit fancy, you can actually drag the icon of bear here, save. And now what we want is to trigger some Apple script. So actions run script. In this area, make sure that you have query selected. Just delete this thing here. And down here, you select Apple script. And this is the text that you need. Okay. Whenever you are triggering the shortcut, you can do it without this if the shortcut doesn't need an input but in our case it does need of course we will replace this with the name of our shortcut so let's just go back to our shortcuts application and the one we created was bare background capture let's just copy this and let's go back to alfred okay so tell application shortcuts events to run the shortcut name bare background capture with this save now we just link this two and let's make sure that we have the node clean just to see how it works. And let's try this capture in background. Okay. We got our notification. We open this. Perfect. There we go. So it's working. Now the cool thing about Alfred, like I was telling you is you can just copy this let's just change this to pop-up let's just double check that that's the correct name bear pop-up capture yeah is the correct name and now instead of having to add another <laughs> uh, keyword we can just drag this same thing here and double click this and i like to have my pop-up with shift capture in pop-up so now whenever you are capturing here you can type type anything and if you press shift you will see that little thing and it will pop up again you can make one for the new note let's go to shortcuts to remember the name of the new note in the background. And let's just duplicate this again as a pop-up. I like to have the new note in the background just with option capture in new note in background and I want to have new note as a pop-up with option and shift in pop-up this is very um, easy for me to remember just the basically the shift always means pop up and the option also always means new and let's just again give it a try bear capture new in pop up option shift there we go let me show you some of the things that i have set up for myself just so you can get an idea of different uh, use case scenarios so these are the ones that we created together. I actually made one shortcut without date to be able to capture text. Um, let me show you the shortcuts application. 
bear capture this one basically i just didn't include that date here but it's the same uh capture in the background without date and i like to use this because i like to use bear a little bit as a sticky kind of note this is a quick note and whenever i press a modifier key it will do it without the date and i like to have on my sidebar here this note so whenever i am on the go i can be adding to this and i also have that on my phone as a widget on the main screen so it also tells me the text that i am capturing there actually this first uh, shortcut also works on your iphone the thing is that it will not be triggered in the background it will open the application i think there's a limitation on that for the phone i haven't figured out how to be able to add to the note in the background like in the computer and talking about limitations i do have to mention a limitation about this shortcut or this way of uh, capturing notes in general since we are using x callback url every time we trigger this the application will be activated that is why every time that i'm typing something i always make sure that i close the window and i have bear running in the background because if the window is open and it's just behind other windows and i try to capture in the background uh, this will bring the window to the front and i don't like that it's just kind of uh, distracting i'm not expecting it it just takes me out of the moment i like to have control of when the window will appear that's the reason that i made the shortcut with the pop-up so i always make sure that i don't have any bare window in the space that i'm currently working you can have it in a different space and for the most part it will be okay let's just have it in a different space and it captures in the background it also works great whenever you are working in another note let's say i'm working on this note of this photographer and i have one idea i have one idea and you can continue working on this note and your idea will be captured in your note without taking you out of this note i think that's pretty awesome you can also even uh, make it appear in a pop-up you know and that way you have the other note already there this is pretty cool just what i'm telling you about being careful not to have any bare windows here in the background or you can have them they will just come up whenever you are not expecting them some use case scenarios like i told you you can make templates you can use this as a sticky note you can imitate the behavior of the notes application by moving the cursor to the corner whenever i select like this hotkey um a more complicated version of the shortcut will be triggered which is background capture selection and he will with some apple script um, press command c and if it's in the in chrome for example he will i will show you he will copy that text add it to my clipboard then um, insert it inside my note and it will tell me where it came from it came from web and it tells me the link and it tells me the time again and i have it set up so that it can be from any application let's just try to capture this name of this folder there's the rl and it came from finder with alfred you can also very easily create this kind of let me do this input trigger hotkey so when you press something i don't know any keys you can have as an argument the clipboard contents so in this way without even having to create new shortcuts you can just pass whatever is in your clipboard directly to to the shortcuts app or not even that you also can do whatever you have selected which is what i was doing in my other shortcut i have to tell you that this shortcut 
totally transformed the way that I use Bear and even <laughs> transformed my experience as I surf the internet and I see pieces of information that I am interested in and I capture them or how I capture thoughts whenever I am doing something else. It is really incredible that the developers of Bear were able to allow us to do this kind of stuff. Of course, there are some limitations, but I think that if you um, play around with this shortcut, you can really go for new ideas and come up with new options that I haven't even thought of. I would be very happy if you share some of the different ideas that you have or different applications in which you have personalized the shortcut for your needs. If you have any question or if you have any issues with the creation of the shortcut, let me know. I may or I may not be able to help you out, but hopefully we are building a little bit of a community here and somebody will uh, jump in and give you some advice. Um, I don't know. If you enjoy the content that I'm making, please do make sure to subscribe. And as always, thank you so much for watching, guys. Thank you for your time. I really appreciate it. I'll talk to you soon.